Hello everyone, Happy New Year to you all. Welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In today's video, I'll be tangling in circles and I'll also be trying out some Tombow markers. If you don't have Tombow markers, that's okay. You can still follow along with this video and substitute it for maybe watercolors or watercolor pencils or any other medium that you happen to have lying around. I've recently purchased this desk set of 96 Tombow dual brush pens and they are available in much smaller quantities but as I said before if you don't have these it doesn't matter but I will be going through some different techniques these pens are fairly versatile and so I'll be demonstrating today some different ways that you can use them for today's project you could use a Zentangle Zendala tile I'm just using an old one to draw around on some Archer's watercolour paper. These pens are water-based, so you have to be careful with what kind of paper you use. I'll also be using a square Zentangle tile. I'll be using a pencil and a fine tip marker. Also, these circles. If you don't have them, you can draw around a circle or use a compass. I'll be using a water brush and also this Mitsubishi Uniball Eye Fine Liner Pen. So let's have a look at these Tombow brush pens. On one end you've got this lovely brush and then on the other end a finer tip. I've prepared a square tile with some circles drawn on it to demonstrate a few ways of using these pens. I'll start by using the brush tip and just colouring one of the circles. One of the things I did find, I used some different kinds of papers and some of them did peel a little bit. I found it much harder to blend these than alcohol markers, but it's realising how these pens work to get the most out of them. This set comes with a colourless blender and that's what I'm using now but I find that it still looks a little bit streaky. To clean the tip of this blender just draw on a piece of paper and it comes clean even though the tip may be stained. Another way to use these pens is to scribble on some sort of plastic. I've laminated a piece of paper and then use it as a palette. So I've just put my colourless blender into that and I'm putting it onto the paper now and drawing and you can see it forms a gradient so you start with more pigment until it gradually fades into nothing. Another way you can use this is to colour onto the palette and then choose a different colour pen. Here I've decided to use a yellow and I'm going to dip the yellow into this pink and put quite a lot onto the pen. Don't worry about the actual pen, it's fine. Start colouring and you can see it gradually goes from pink into the yellow and that's a really nice technique. Eventually the brush will be cleaned and you'll just have the yellow pigment again. I can also use the palette with a paintbrush or my water brush. So I pick up some of the pigment and apply that to my paper. This works a lot like using watercolour paint. So I can add more water or scribble more pigment onto my palette and adjust it however I need to and you can see I'm getting much more smooth results if I find that I have places that are a little bit washed out just add a little bit more pigment and eventually I can get a nice even result much better than when I used the brush tip in the yellow circle. To clean your brush and palette use either a tissue or some 
paper towel, squeeze some water out and clean your brush and then you can just wipe the palette clean. In the next two circles I'll use the method of adding some colour to the palette, choosing another colour and picking up that other pigment and then having a gradation effect when I apply it to the circle. If you don't want your colours from the other circles to run into it, make sure they're dry before you start. You can see a little bit of that yellow going into the blue. In the next circle I'll apply my brush marker and do half with one colour and then the other half with another colour. Then I'll try to blend the two together using the colourless blender. Now I'll try adding a gradient using another colour and picking it up with my water brush. Again you can see that I have much more control by adding the water. On the last circle I'll just pick two colours and apply both of these with my water brush. I'm going to colour the background now just using the brush tip. The overall effect of this little square looks quite cosmic and I do like that bleeding that's happened in that circle. So you must be careful that if you don't want any bleeding, like in the overlap of the circles, that you let one layer dry before you add the next layer. Once this is completely dry, I can add my tangles. Whenever I get new art supplies, I make a colour swatch and I find it very useful because it's hard to tell the colours from the lids. So on this side I used the pen and a colourless blender and on the other side I used a water brush. That way I can see the full pigment and grade it down to lesser pigment. You could use any Zentangle tile for this project. I've drawn around a Zendala tile on a piece of Archer's hot press watercolour paper and now I'm using the largest circle out of my template to draw lots of overlapping circles. I'm going to fill this entire space. I've decided to use a water brush so I'm looking at my colour swatch to choose colours. From experimenting, I found that the Zentangle patterns show up better on the lighter colours.
I'm finding that I have a lot of water on this particular one so I can blot it with a tissue and add a bit more pigment by drawing again in another section and that way I can darken what I have already on the circle. I want to darken my border so I'm going in and just using the pen directly using the brush tip. I've already got a layer of colour so it's less likely to look streaky. I'll leave this to dry and I've already done some designs so I'll be working on this one. If you find your pen clogs up have some paper handy so you can scribble on it to unclog the pen or you could do your tangles first. Looking at these tangles the smaller ones look a little bit busy so I'll be mindful of this when I add my tangles to this particular piece. Thank you. 
I filled my original tile with tangles and now I thought I'd add some different gradients of colour. So using my water brush and palette, I'm going to put extra colour over the top, starting with the original colour and wetting the whole area and then adding the darker colour to the other end. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I post a video every Wednesday. So do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to share your work in my Facebook group, there is a link below this video. So until next week, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, check out my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and there's a subscribe button.